would say, uh, according to Nuremberg law, of course I'm Jewish. Oh, duh, obviously. So, what's a Jew? I hope this is a question that you can continue to think about. Because to me, by being asked this all the time, and being a historian, and reading a lot about Jewish history, and world history, and history of nations, and nationalism, uh, what is Jewish is very much a construction of the last one or two centuries. Uh, is it a religion, religious group, cultural group, ethnic group, linguistic group in some affairs? Uh, if you look around in Israel, it's clear that it's not a race. We, we all, we Israelis, I would say, all look very different. Uh, so. Anyway, if you're interested in that, uh, the book I would have recommended most, uh, unfortunately that person could not come, he would have been sitting right here, his name is Shlomo Sand, he's a historian from Tel Aviv University, his book is called Brace Yourselves, that's not the title. The title is uh, The Invention of the Jewish People. And he's from Israel, so there you go. Yeah. Um, so it's a complicated topic, I'm really happy that we are addressing this for uh, a third reason, and that is that when you think about teaching Jewish history, and Yoko will elaborate a bit on that, but what we see is that we have a challenge, a big challenge on our hands, and that is, can we move beyond the paradigm of persecution? Because I think uh, a Jew in a European history classroom finds him or herself usually persecuted. But it doesn't mean they were that all the time. And maybe they had other aspects of their lives that were interesting, as I hope you have seen this morning. So, um, to be able to study this, we need to think about this paradigm and raise awareness. And I'm very happy that uh, uh, we have Edward Sorta, whose institute is trying to deal with this challenge as well. Before we go there, I invite Joke van der Leeuw to present uh, yet another series. You've seen it a few times the membership, or sorry, the questionnaire. You all answered before coming here, also had questions about Jewish history. So we're going to see some of those results.